Hey everybody, Jake with Myers Flies. Uh, gonna tie up a little nymph that I like to fish. I like doing two-tone nymphs. Uh, that is, uh, you know, use a lighter shade in the uh, in the abdomen area, and then uh, you know, come up into a darker shade in that uh, thorax area. So what I've got right here is a uh, a barbless jig hook from Risen Fly Fishing. Uh, it's a really nice hook, super strong, never had any problems with them. This is the uh, size 14, uh, number 9230. So this is uh, Risen's 9230 barbless jig hook. And I've got a little bit of uh, 140 denier uh, UTC thread. And this is a 3 millimeter, I'm sorry, 2.5 millimeter tungsten uh, bead here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off... Uh, with a little bit of uh, tailing material, the uh, Coke de Leon uh, tail. So I'm just going to take these fibers and do about a hook gap or half a hook shank in length. Tie that in. I'm going to tie that right to about the bend there. So that way everything just kind of straight off the back. Come back up. And I'm going to take a little bit of wire. This is a gold wire, UTC gold, in a brassy, or I'm sorry, small size. And I'm going to tie that onto the side of the hook closest to me so that I can counter wrap it. And I'll show you here in just a minute. Now, I've got some of this dubbing that I made. <clears throat> it's from a, uh, a squirrel that me and my son Luke shot. And I'm going to use a little bit of this dubbing wax because this squirrel is it's kind of dry. When you shoot, I don't know if you can see, this is like the, um, I just took the body of the squirrel there. And I just kind of dried it with a little borax on a uh, on a board but this dubbing you know I just kind of shave it off blend it with the under fur but it's still you know it gets a little dry uh, you know so sometimes it's kind of hard to to dub on so and I, I don't mix this with anything this is just um, this squirrel we shot it uh, I don't know last fall uh, so it would be like the fall of 2020 when, uh, you know, everybody going stir crazy, not doing anything. We did some hunting, so uh, doing some squirrel hunting. And um, it had a nice brownish color to it. I mean, it was just an awesome looking brown, and I've been using it for these flies. And so, um, you know, I'm just going to take this and dub it up. You're gonna see this gets this gets buggy. It is buggy. I mean, you can just see that right now. Uh, now I'm gonna take this wire and counter wrap it. Now this um this wire here, and I'm just gonna kind of pull that pull that out. But you can see already, I mean, that is, that, that stuff's super buggy. Now, on this jig hook, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little flashback. And so I just got a little bit of the uh, large size, the Mirage Opal Tinsel. This is this is a large size. And it works great for a little flashback on here. Now, I'm going to pull this, you know about a third you know down that body and then when I pull that up it'll nice now you know a lot of guys when you're using a jig hook will put it on the underside and you can I mean obviously the jig hook is supposed to ride a hook up it's tumbling around in the water it it doesn't always so I don't typically tie it underneath here unless a customer asks for it specifically like that only because uh, I don't like it <laughs> there's really no other reason now I'm going to take a lot of a um, 
And it's just easier. It's just easier to throw it in up there. I don't kind of rotate around and adjust my hook, etc. So, uh, you know, you have a little bit of dubbing here. Now, this is a darker brown color. This is the old, the old Sasquatch. Remember those? That's, uh, man, I wish they'd bring that dubbing back. We, we, we used a lot of that, and it's, it's an awesome, I mean, it is an awesome dubbing. And so, uh, but we can't, we can't get it no more. Hopefully they'll start making that again. I had so many people ask for it, but we just want to throw a little bit of a darker color up top here. And you'll see this is, that Sasquatch is super buggy too. I'll wrap it about twice in the back and I pull this back here, wrap it another two or three times and then I'm ready to trim off the uh, tinsel and then I'll take the whip finisher pull that dubbing back I mean that's nice so anyhow these these nymphs work really well and that two-tone color Really, um, I mean, it's just really been effective for me. I do a waltz worm like that, uh, you know. So, anyhow, with that little red thread, just a little, just those color shades, I've just found that, you know, having just variations of colors, maybe even just subtle colors, really make a, a big difference. And, of course, that, that flashback in there really makes it look nice. So, I uh, hope you guys like this little uh, nymph, just something I've been tying for a while in uh, different materials. It's always done really well for me. Uh, check out our website at myersflies.com or stop down at the fly shop and uh, check us out there in Dallas Town, Pennsylvania. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Tight lines.